Okay guys, so I figured today I'd just make a quick little update video on how everything is doing and just kind of a channel update in general. And I think I'm going to start making just kind of like various updates on the tanks and all my setups. Uh, every two weeks maybe. Uh, every time something drastic changes, I'll definitely be making one of these. But uh, yeah, let's just uh, jump right into things. Okay, so our little uh, bioactive vivarium here. It's doing pretty good. Uh, I saw two of the ice pods uh, actually breeding, which is great. The only problem with that is um, our other creatures in here may eat the children, so I'm gonna have to keep my eyes on everything. Uh, the slug, I'll show some footage of him on screen right now. He's been very active, and I've decided to name him Sliman. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've just been feeding them lettuce, which they it's very much seem to like, or at least the slugs do. There's at least two in here. And then the ice pods have just been kind of chewing on the dead leaves as well as some of the lettuce. So yeah, that's really all that's been happening here. Also, I put a layer of saran wrap on here with some holes in it to keep the moisture in better. And I kind of just wet this down every few days. There's the ice pod or one of them. The problem with this thing is it's hard to film. There you go. I don't know what that black dot on her is. It might just be dirt or her or him. And uh, oh yeah, just if anyone's thinking about doing this themselves, they can climb the silicone. I have some footage of that. I guess I'll play it right now. They can indeed climb it, however, none of them have actually tried to get out because I guess they just like it in there so much. All right, let's move on to the uh, tanks. Okay, there's not much to say about the nine gallon other than all the fish are doing good, including the snail and, uh, <laughs> so weird looking, and uh, the thing's a mess. Um, I'm actually thinking I might actually redo this tank like I said at the beginning of the revamping the tank series. Uh, I'll probably do like a Wallstad, like soil and the type of gravel. I want to get like a plant substrate, but a lot of them are kind of expensive for what you get, so I'm not really sure about that. But uh, yeah, the main reason I don't even clean my gravel is because I hate how the plain white gravel looks. So yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, something I do have to clean though is the sand in this tank, which I'm going to have to be cleaning very soon because of the algae growing here. Uh, this tank is doing good. Uh, the plant growth has been insane. Show before and after here. Uh, yeah, the plant growth's been going very nicely. Uh, I'm doing the driftwood like as we speak. I've already like boiled all the pieces, but they need to be like sanded and stuff. I'll be putting up a video on that. Uh, I've counted like nine snails now, and these are pond snails. Apparently, they breed like rabbits, so I don't know. If I had known that, I would have got some pea puffers to eat them. But I don't know. I think what I'll do is I'll leave them be, and then I'm making an assassin snail for like this tank, and put the apple snail in here, and then just let. When there's too many, I'll just dunk a few in there and the assassin snail can eat them. Uh, one thing I have noticed in here, which I thought was really cool, is... Uh, I can't find any of them right now, but there are damselfly larvae in here. Or, not larvae, nymphs in here. Which happens if you don't wash your plants. So, guys, uh, you know, wash your plants. I'm going to be leaving them in here and see what happens. I've seen one video on YouTube where someone successfully allowed for a dragonfly um, nymph to actually hatch and come out. So we'll see if we can get that to happen, which would be pretty dang cool. Uh, now finally, let's move on to the last couple things happening up here. Okay, I'm not going to be showing the bowl in this video just because nothing's changed with it. But up here, first of all, we have the terrarium we built, which is looking very nice. Um, this thing still needs succulents. Uh, and then I got all these jars, and I'm going to be making a terrarium in each of these. And I have an idea for this one I'll show kind of what I, the idea I have on screen right now. It's taken from the video from a channel that originally spawned my terrarium obsession. We've got a small one here with some moss that I found in the Okanagan when I went on my trip. It's in there. It's doing good. It's got its moisture going. Uh, this is an ecosphere. I was going to make a video on this, but you know, one thing leads to another and I didn't. Basically, I just went to a nearby river or a stream and I grabbed some uh, mud or like some sand and I threw a stick and some algae or like plant growth in there. Now there is one thing in here, like an animal. I don't really know what it is. It's like some sort of like shrimp or like copepod thing. Um, it's really, okay, that little dust moving around there, that is it. It is alive. I've seen like its movement, but uh, yeah, that's just kind of cool. This was just a project I felt like doing. <laughs> Wanted to do one for a while, so I said, why the hell not, right? Container was perfect. And uh, yeah, that's really all that's been going on. I just thought I'd make this update video so you guys can see everything that's happening. And uh, yeah, soon I'll be making more terrarium videos with all these vessels and obviously more fish videos once I get this stocked and get all the fish going and everything. And uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, at some point 
I'll be able to make a fish cast for both tanks. By the way, the next fish cast, I used to upload those like every day. The next one probably won't be until I get fish in that tank and then I'll be doing one for that tank. And then I'll start doing these ones again once the tank looks a bit nicer. But uh, anyways, that's me talking to you. By the way, um, I thought I'd insert a little channel update at the end here. You can click off if you don't give a shit. But two things I'm going to be doing. I'm going to start doing like rant slash discussion videos about fish related things and nature related things. Stuff like, you know, people think, oh, you can't have 10 fish in a 10 gallon. Like that's overstocked. Like, okay, buddy. Um, you know, just stuff like that. Um, uh, also like the problems I've had with certain kinds of fish, all sorts of stuff like that. And the last thing I've changed my name from Cryptic Crow to the Spiritual Fish Man. It became my name on Discord. It's stuck. It's what I go by all the time. It just makes sense to change my channel name to that. So, uh, yeah, still might be doing cryptid discussion videos at some point, but we'll have to see about that. But uh, anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like if you did, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.